So I just wanted to share some quick tips on converting different 3D models that you have already to a file format that will save you a lot of space in your apps. And so that file format is called .scn or scene kit file. Uh, and so if we go to one of these, like this bathtub here, um, you can see we have a nice icon here in the latest version of Xcode. So this is actually new, but if we go ahead and double click this, you can see that the end file name is .scn. And so that is different from our file name that we have up here. Uh, so this is a great example. If we go ahead and double click this one, you can see that this is a .dae or Collada file. So there's certain files that our SceneKit editor supports, but if we were to take the same file and convert it to a .sen file, that file will actually be 30% smaller. So to put that in some math for you, uh, if we had a 10 megabyte size file, and we converted it to a .scn file, I would expect that file to be seven megabytes as a .scn file. Again, saving you some space, maybe allowing you to add some more assets to your app. So this is a great trick. I just figured this one out over time. Um, obviously, I just did a bunch of these. Uh, so I'm updating Dream Paint here. So download that, it's free in the App Store. But I just did a bunch of files here. Uh, I mean, literally hundreds. And so I wanted to share some tips on converting these files into .scn files because I'm wrapping up with the last 20 or so here. So um, the first tip I'll give you, let's start by looking at the files that we uh, originally started with. So we'll go up a level and up a level. So here's a pack that I bought on CG Trader. And so it's a great pack. It came with, you know, bathrooms, curtains, floors, flowers, kitchens, and more. Um, but basically, the file format that we'll find in each one of these folders is a .fbx file. And you can already tell right away that this isn't a file that macOS supports. Uh, and definitely, if we were to take something like, uh, let's say maybe this bar, and we'll just drag it in this folder for an example, but we'll take this bar and drag it into our walls folder here in Xcode. Again, you can see this is definitely not supported uh, as a 3D format here in Xcode. So we'll need to convert this file to a format that does work. And I've already shown you two. So that's kind of the first step is we wanna take this FBX file and convert it to something like this .dae file, which again, you can see it has a different icon, but at least it is supported here in SceneKit. And once we get it to this file, we can convert it to this file. So let's go ahead and walk through i'm going to delete this fbx file because i know we don't need it here and so the first step is to open up blender and so i'm going to actually quit blender here um, but let's go ahead and open up blender that way you know there's no tricks up and so here's blender 3.0 and so the first thing you'll need to do is to get rid of everything in this scene already because you know we're going to be importing some things so the easiest way to do that is to tap the A key. And once you tap A, you should see everything on the screen selected. Again, we won't need this camera. We won't need this light. We won't even need the cube. So we'll tap the X key and that brings up the delete menu. We can tap enter and that should delete everything in our 3D scene here. So now we have a blank scene, the perfect place to import some uh, unsupported models. So let's go to file in the top left corner here. We'll hover over import. And you can see there's a few different file types that we can import, but the files that we have are in an FBX format. So let's go ahead and import those. And so I put mine on my desktop. So we'll just go to desktop and it's right here in this folder. And so I'm just going to give you an example here. Uh, so let's maybe go to flowers. This is an easy to follow one. And so there's only seven flower files here. So this would be pretty easy to convert manually. Um, but I want to give you my technique here. So inside of each one of these folders where my files are, I created a new folder called DAE. And that's because that's going to be the file format that we're exporting to. So you can tap the new folder here to create a new folder. And then again, name it in that format that you want to export to. And then go ahead and go inside of that folder. And then use the plus button over here to create a bookmark to that folder. And so the reason we're creating this bookmark is so that when we go to export, we can quickly hop back to this folder and just export right to the right place uh, instead of navigating through all this stuff. So that's how you create a shortcut. Uh, let's go ahead and import this flower one FBX. So we'll tap import. And so I'll zoom in here. Uh, and so here's our file. We don't need the textures or anything. We're just really looking at the file right now. Um, but there's our flower one. 
and we'll go back up to the top and before we do that I want to go ahead and click our actual model here so we'll click it in our scene collection and we'll click the name flower one and we'll use the copy key so command C here on Mac and we'll go to file and we'll hover over export and again a bunch of different files we could export to but the one that we know is supported in scene kit is going to be this DAE file so let's go ahead and export to a DAE file or Colada. And so again, we'll always start off in this root directory. So go ahead and tap that bookmark we created. And then we can go ahead and double click the untitled name here. And we'll go ahead and paste in the name that we copied from over here. So once that's done, we can tap export Colada. And that's it. We have converted our file to a file format that should work here in Xcode. So let's open up Xcode again. And then we'll open up our finder and I believe the file we just did was a flower. So let's go to flowers. And I think we put it in our new folder. And so there's our flower one. And again, we already have a nice preview of it. If we double click it, we can actually view it in the preview app. So again, this is a file that's supported natively by Mac, but we'll go ahead and drag and drop this one over here. And so now you can see that our flower one is in our walls folder, not quite the right place for it, but it is supported. We can go ahead and take a look at this file. Uh, so this is a great, great start. Um, we're almost to the finish line here. So we'll go ahead and click this file and we could go ahead and convert this right away. So if we want it to, we can convert it to an SCN file right now. Um, but it, you might as well do the textures before you convert it. Um, this is a pretty simple file here. It only has one texture. So we'll click the diffuse layer here and I'll type in the name of our texture, which is interior pack diffuse. I'll tap enter. And that's it. You can see that our model has been completely recolored based on our texture. So here's the last step. We'll go ahead and at the very top of our screen, we'll tap editor and then we'll go down and click convert to scene kit file format. And so pretty instantly you get another file created that has the same name, but with the word copy on it. So if you tap the right arrow and hit backspace four or five times, uh, you can get rid of that copy and just tap enter to save the converted file. And so now we have flower01 as a DAE file and flower01 as a .scn file. And you know, just to show off what I was talking about earlier, let's right click this file and we'll show it in our finder. And I want to compare these two files. So if we look at the original, our DAE file, we tap get info. You can see this file was 43 kilobytes big. If we go over to our SCN file, we right click and get info. You can see that this one is 54 kilobytes. And I think the only reason this one's bigger is because it's using the texture. So uh, if we go back and just to prove my point here, I don't want to uh, look like a fool. So let's make sure. Hmm. All right, so interesting example. <laughs> In this example, for whatever reason, our scene file came out a little bit bigger, um, but typically speaking, you should expect this to be a lot smaller. So um, bad example, I guess. That's actually the first time I've seen that happen, but I still want to finish showing you why and how we can convert many files to this file format. So let's go ahead and uh, delete our Collada file here. We'll tap delete and get rid of that one. So we just need the flower one uh, as an SCN file. Now, if you had hundreds of files like uh, all of these, how would I convert those really, really quickly rather than going through and manually doing each one? Well, there's a tool I found and it's called the FBX Converter UI. It's right here. And so this is a tool from Autodesk. And you can see I have the page pulled up here. Um, but basically, I found this tool. It's a great tool to convert FBX files that are uh, from before 2013 into the 2013 and beyond format. So if you try to import an FBX file from before 2013 to Blender, uh, you will get an error. You won't be able to do it. This tool can actually update that file to a more recent FBX file or maybe an OBJ or DAE or any of these other uh, file formats. So. Go ahead and download this file, this tool for your Mac or whatever you're using. And then we'll go ahead and open it. 
and give it a second to pop open here. And so here's the tool and it's not the prettiest thing, but it does work. So earlier I tried to tap the add button and it seems like this doesn't work anymore. This could be because I'm using macOS Monterey um, and this is a pretty old random tool. So um, you won't be able to add that way, unfortunately, but I did discover that if I just go to my desktop and I take the files here, so let's take maybe all of the flowers, we'll just keep it simple. Or maybe let's do an advanced one. Let's do, uh, I think room had quite a few things in it. So let's take the room folder and we'll just drag and drop it over. Once you have it on that window, you can go ahead and drop it. And so I think I just did this the wrong way. So what I meant to do instead of that was uh, click into your room folder. We'll hit command A to click all of our FBX files. And then I'm actually going to hold the command key and deselect our DAE folder. So let's drag and drop all of these 85 files. Here we go. And we'll just drag and drop them directly into the tool. We'll give it a few seconds to understand what's going on. And so now you can see it detects and it can read all of these FBX files. And then we can go ahead and choose the destination folder. And again, this may not work, I'm sorry. Um, but what we can do is choose the destination format. And so if we click our drop down here, you can see we have all the way down to 2006 FBX files. But more importantly, we have this DAE Collado file that we've been using to bring our files into Xcode. So we'll go ahead and tap that convert button. And we'll give it some time, let it load. Again, I, I chose the, the biggest folder possible, so we have a lot of files here. Um, but you can see it's doing great work. It's pretty successful. Um, and now I can prove the point that I was talking about earlier. So you can see uh, here already these files are getting smaller. So this was 17 kilobytes. Now it's 6. Uh, this was 18, now it's 12, this was 20, now it's still 20. Uh, but definitely as you convert these files, they should be getting smaller and smaller. And that's the only reason I'm making this video. So let's wrap things up here because it is already a 12 minute video. Um, once you're done, we can take a look at that folder and we'll just scroll down and look at that. We have all the same files, but we can tell that these are different because we have a preview of each and every one of these DAE files. So. That's all you need to do to update and change these files around. Um, and again, save you a bunch of space once you finally get them here in uh, Xcode. So I hope you learned a lot from this video and go ahead, like, subscribe, uh, download Dream Paint on the App Store. And I look forward to next time. Thank you.